day 163 for the vlog. Day rating for the 7. Yeah, I think 7. We'll say 7. Got up at 8. And went to bed at 4. Got up at 8. Walked the pup. Uh, got a call from the dealership. And they had just fixed the battery. They said all those little signals, it's just for whatever reason, it's a battery's way. <clears throat> Tell the computer it's getting old. So they replaced it. That there's no charge, which was great. And yeah, that was it with the car. No other issues. They said they said everything else checked out. No other no other errors in the computer. That was good. So after that, went to the grocery store, picked up some food for my roommate and our little rabbit. Oh, excuse me. I walked the pup again in the evening. I was waiting all day for the email or phone call or text from that company about the COVID test and <clears throat> I haven't heard anything back yet. I said 48 to 72 hours, so today at 5 would have been 72 hours, and it's now 12.45 a.m., technically Wednesday morning, and so it's a little frustrating, <clears throat> and I sent him an email around 6 o'clock, said, hey, it's by chance I didn't get my results, can you please give me any update, thanks. So, hopefully tomorrow, but ran seven miles today, I was a little bit worried, just didn't run yesterday, the last mile, well, I guess I was worried because I didn't eat well today, I woke up, had a smoothie, and kind of was in, the, in and out of this nap till from like noon to 2.30 or 3.00. Then I think I had some crackers, some rice crackers, and yeah, not exactly nutritious outside the smoothie, but went for the run, was trying to get in at the seven, but the miles were just. They were really off today, and I'm not sure if it was because Sunday's run was so with a nine minute pace. And I thought I was going at a good pace. I know the first mile is always slow and opening up, getting the legs going, see how I feel. <clears throat> but the first mile was 8.24. I was like, okay, I need to pick it up. And I thought I was going to be down to 7.30, to 7.47. 7.44, mile forward 7.38, then jumped back up to 7.43, 7.42, and the last mile I was really trying to push, and I said, I could go eight, I felt okay, my stomach wasn't hurting, I had enough energy, I just didn't want to drag it out. I'd rather, rather finish a little bit faster. Then drag out another mile slower. And so the plan is tomorrow to get in a workout. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be the mile repeat or the mile progression. Or something shorter. I might feel a little fatigued since I didn't... I'd like to get... Well, it just says neutralize. <laughs> I didn't get enough energy or nutrition in today. So I think I might feel a little depleted tomorrow, but I did have a big dinner. I had two good pieces of chicken, probably two big scoops of rice, and then a good scoop of peppers and onions, like mixed steamed veggies. And I finished, finished eating afterwards, I still felt hungry, and I tried to give it 10-15 minutes to see if it'd kick in, I still felt hungry. 
<sighs> but it's okay. Besides that, I got in 110 push ups, I did the 100 regular. Like, I'm an early, I think I finished around 6 or 7. And then right before dinner, I did a set of 10 pike ones. So that was it. I, I should have got in more of a workout today, like gym type workout, which just, just felt off. And I was waiting for the results to kind of clear my head and wind me down a little bit mentally. But that's where we're at for the day. Everything's done. I finished reading. I was uh, getting ready for bed. Oh, me. And then I saw that. If you can see it, the Marvel. Oh, the Marvel What If series is on. I normally, the last of shows didn't pop up till like two or three in the morning. That's when I just found about <clears throat> 20 or 30 minutes ago, so I said, I'm gonna wake enough, I'm gonna give it a watch. Everything's done. So, I'm gonna give it a go and see how it is. So, run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.